Time now to go on the road to a family-friendly spot that's always been popular in the summertime. With three theme parks in one and just a short drive from Rhode Island to Carver, Mass, Edaville Railroad has been a local landmark for 70 years. Michaela is there live right now with a look at the fun to be had for all season long. Good morning, Michaela. Oh, good morning, Will. I'll tell you what, there is so much fun to be had here at Edaville. We're walking around the whole park, checking it out. We're going to show you as much as we can over the next hour. I'm here with owner John Deli Prescoli. This has been around for, for decades, and it's really become a tradition. Can you, can you talk a little bit about the history of Edaville? Sure. Edaville goes back to 1946, if you can imagine. It actually predates Disney. Wow. Um, and matter of fact, Walt Disney walked around Edaville in 1947 to get ideas for his Anaheim Park, if you can imagine that. But Edaville's gone through a lot of transitions over the years, mm -hmm. and today, Edaville's bigger than better than ever, and it's, it's, it's completely reinvented, but it's kept the, the traditional uh, pr provincial character that we're all accustomed to, but it's also brought a whole global audience with Thomas Land and all the other lands we've developed. We are actually in Thomas Land right now, surrounded by some very familiar characters. If you have kids that love this area, what are some experiences and, and some rides they'll get out of this land in particular? Well, there's a number of rides, and in, in, in Thomas Land there's 11 rides. There's, uh, there's a, a phenomenal show that we're standing right here right now. There's a beautiful show. Uh, we have the roller coaster. We have have the uh, Winston's ride, which is an aerial ride. We have um, all types of. Uh, we have the fire truck ride, and we have the boat ride. We have Thomas coming in oh right now too. Thomas, the tank engine, pulling in that train. And just how often does he does he go by around the park? Uh, Thomas runs every half hour and and uh, goes around and people get uh, the children and, and their parents and grandparents uh, get a chance to really have a live experience with Thomas the Tank Engine mm -hmm. in, in, a, in a setting which is very similar to the island of Soder which is what the entire series is based upon and how the whole concept of Thomas is uh, is built upon with the stories that were written by the Reverend Audrey back in uh, actually in 1946 as well so Thomas Thomas the Tank Engine mm -hmm. stories in Edaville are exactly the same age. That is tremendous, and I love, too, all of the care and consideration that you've taken going behind every little detail throughout the entire park. I I'm sure that means a lot to you. It does. Um, I'm very much into it. I'm, I mean, based on my age, I mean, I probably know more about it than most three-year-olds, but, but, um, <laughs> but I really, really enjoy it. I think it's a wonderful character. I think it teaches life lessons. It's, it's a, wholesome, a wholesome character. It's, it's something that people love in all generations. Um, grandparents and when those young children come here and they're happy yeah. the grandparents and parents are happy we've taken great consideration to make the park extremely clean extremely friendly autism friendly we've focused on that okay. we have special bathrooms that are that are sensitive to those needs our um, all our all all every piece of this I look at it as if I was the guest and that's the most important thing and I'm my biggest critic well, myself that is so touching to hear that you care about it so much I don't want to have to cut you off but we are at a time for this segment. We're going to keep you around, okay. though. We have Dino Land to show you later, and in just a bit, we're going to hop on some of the rides, too. It is time now to go back out onto the road where the weekend fun is just getting started, you guys. Now, Michaela is out at Edaville Railroad. I remember going to this place as a kid. I loved it. I couldn't get enough of it. It is still the place to be no matter what your age is, and Michaela is there setting the scene, scoping it all out firsthand to tell us what the whole family can enjoy there. I hope she saves me a seat on one of those trains. Hey, Michaela. Hey, I, maybe I saved you a hot air balloon seat, Brendan. Uh, I'm here with Abby Burke. You just mentioned to Brendan how you can enjoy this park really at any age. And Abby, you're a prime example of that. Talk about some of the memories you've had since coming here as a kid. Well, when I first started coming, I was really little. I have two sisters. I was probably six years old, and my mom would tell me we were going to the North Pole. Because back then, it was all about the lights and Christmas time. And now I take my own kids. And my daughter, when we were last here, wasn't even two. And wow. she was bopped around the park. She still went on all the rides, and it was so much fun. I think you bring up a good point, because a lot of times when parents hear amusement park and they have kids that are maybe three or under, they think, mm, in a couple years from now, maybe we'll give that a try. That's not the case here at Edaville. No, not even a little. I had the stroller and everything, and it was awesome. 
Talk about the variety of rides, too, that you're able to experience and maybe even enjoy together as a family. Well, obviously, all the little train rides we could mm -hmm. sit on together, and she looks out the window and everything, and it's super cute. Um, and we even had fun inside. It kind of rained on us one time. So we went in, and there's a ball pit. There was, like, the little um, car rides in there, everything. You... I can tell just by the way you're speaking of it so so fondly and the smile is just on your face the entire time. She loves it so much guys. She now works here. I do. It's actually my first day guys. <laughs> I couldn't wait to be here. It is a beautiful park and like you said something for everyone. Talk about the feeling you get when you now see it come full circle of seeing your daughter experience this park for the first time well i mean i think anybody who would go back and experience it with their own kids it's like that nostalgia of it and it's almost like reliving childhood a little bit like when i came it was christmas and now i take her and you just see how excited she is about everything she's at the age where she's just taking it all in absorbing all of it mm -hmm. it really is a wonderful feeling and i'm sure a lot of families can relate out there they want their kids to have those same cherished memories that they did coming here as a child uh, we talked about the the kind of the evolution of Edaville a little bit in the past and it's so nice to see that it's continuing on. Yeah, it's full circle for my family. It's great. And once you're once you come here, you said you particularly chose this destination many a time with your own daughter because it's easy and convenient. Oh, yes. I mean, I know people try and go to Storyland. It was just way too far for us, for me to put her in the car seat, to travel. It was way too much. For here, it was only 20 minutes. It's probably the most convenient thing to do for anyone South Shore, Plymouth, anywhere in this area. Mm -hmm. Whether you're coming from the Boston area or the Cape or the, um, Providence and Rhode Island, you really... It's, it's an easy enough drive. It's something to do. A perfect day trip. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for joining You're us. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. <laughs> We're going to start hopping on more of these rides, too. And uh, when you come back to us a little later on, we'll have something that maybe even the, uh, the bigger kids will enjoy, too. Stick around. Hey guys, thanks so much. Edaville has something for everyone. And right now we are in a place that as your kids get a little bit older, maybe their interests start to change a bit. It's Dino Land. So owner John joins us once again. What an exciting place. You can see some of the some of the steam, some of the fog rolling through. You really set the scene. It, it really does. It's a beautiful trail. It's about a, about a quarter of a mile long. It's, it's all natural. It was all, we worked with a botanist to, to create this trail through all this existing uh, woods. These are virgin woods. And then we place the dinosaurs and have all the natural flora and fauna. It's very, 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 a lot of fun. And we have the steam, which is dis distilled water that we make the fog. So it gives you that real, you know, prehistoric feel. Mm -hmm, it certainly does. And so do the dinosaurs themselves. It, very realistic. Yes, the dinosaurs are, are all, all uh, make noises and, and they move mm -hmm. um, periodically. So, they're, you know, uh, as, the, as the people walk by, they're triggered. And uh, it really gives a, a feel of, of it that's alive. This area actually becomes something else, and, and we're going to get to that in just a second because the fun doesn't stop after the summertime. Edaville really rolls on throughout the entire year. That's right. I mean, Edaville, for most of the people that have been around for a long time, really think of Edaville as Christmas. Mm -hmm. um, but, of course, we've been building up all these other seasons over the years. Uh, when we opened Dino Land a few years back, then we, re we convert Dino Land to the, to the pumpkin spectacular, which is uh, uh, pumpkins aglow, we call it, jack-o'-lanterns. Mm -hmm. And it, it's, they all come alive, and um, it's a lot of fun. We have uh, characters walking around. And then um, and during Christmas, uh, we actually close this area. Mm -hmm. and, but then we bring the whole park alive with Christmas lights and Santa Claus and... Mrs. Claus and Dickens Village and really, really go all out. Yeah, that's not all, guys. If you think there's so much here already, you're not done. More expansions to come right pretty soon. That's right. Edaville, I would say today, Edaville Family Theme Park today, I'd say it's about 50% built out, if you can believe it. Um, <laughs> what we're doing the next is we're going to really focus on the young ladies and the girls mm -hmm. with some princess uh, events. And uh, we're adding water attractions and we're adding go-karts. It's all of that, a lot of it's substantially complete already. Wow. Uh, we're going to roll that out as soon as possible as, as time and uh, effort allows. Um, our most important thing we want to do is make sure that the guest that comes right now has the best experience possible. This, it takes mm -hmm. more than a day to see Edaville, by the way. And good thing then that it is open every single day throughout the summer. That's right. Uh, during July and August, it's open from 10 to 6 every day.
Perfect. So you have plenty of chances to experience this with your entire family. Really, that's what it's all about, right? You you want to give these families this joy to continue on throughout their lives. That's right, and they they do. And and we have a lot of us have memories. I have pictures of myself here back in. <laughs> I don't want to say how long ago, but uh, I have pictures. You don't have to. <laughs> but anyway, we, you know, it, it's it's a bonding experience with parents and grandparents, and a very retro experience. But we've made it current. So mm -hmm. I've taken and merged you know retro with current and really try to make a unique experience so it's it's really special so the senior folks and the older folks in the younger younger children can really have a, a relevant experience and really fl have flashbacks of the old days but also mm -hmm. watch the smiles of, of today it really is a great place for the whole family you're going to want to check it out this summer Edaville it's got something for everyone guys